Good afternoon, family. I have an article that I want to share with you guys. First, the good news. Psalm 34, verse 4. I sought the Lord, and He heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. He's always with us. Never leaves our side. It's very important that we stay close to the Lord in these very dark days. 1 Thessalonians 5. Now, brothers and sisters, about times and dates we do not need to write to you. For you know very well the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come upon them like suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman, but they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness, so that this day should not surprise you like a thief. We see this day approaching. Here is a preacher of rapture, Revelation 3. Verse 10 is the clearest indicator of that. But wherever you stand on the rapture, it's very important to put on the floor of God and stay close to the Lord in these dark days. Whatever you're going through, I promise you the Lord will get you through. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, Jesus is the only way to heaven. He is the Savior of the world. Our Heavenly Father loves us so much. He sent His only begotten Son that he who believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. When you believe, your sins are washed clean, past, present, and future. Thief on the cross, perfect example. I have this shirt. It says, normal isn't coming back. Jesus is coming back. A lot of people think, well, me, me, in my opinion, well, first of all, I pray that we're not here for the next elections. But if we are, I, I don't think, I could be wrong. I don't think Trump's going to be get up reelected. In order for Bible prophecy to be fulfilled, he can't be. Because he doesn't want a one world government, and they do. My opinion, I think uh, Biden's going to steal the election again. But that's that's just my opinion. So, I have an article. I'm, I'm wanting to get this out to y'all for a while, but <coughs> it was hard to get my um, grandson to sleep. He doesn't like taking naps. So. This has been a tragedy in Gaza. Reports, and this is from War News 247, reports of 500 dead and injured in hospital bombing. Wow. IDF. Due to a failed Hamas rocket. This, this picture is, wow. My prayers go out to, my prayers go out to everybody that's going through this in the Middle East. You know, there's, there's a lot on both sides. They just, they just want peace, you know. I pray that more people accept Jesus as Lord and Savior before it's too late. Uh, my, my prayers go out to everybody that's going through war wherever you are in the world. Nearly 500 people were killed and wounded when Gaza's El Ahli Ariba Arabi might have said that wrong, I apologize. Baptist Hospital was shelled today by the Israeli armed forces. Palestinian enclave authorities said, if the numbers are confirmed, then Hezbollah's entry to the war is now a given. All eyes are on Israel right now. Israeli Armed Forces, the IDF spokesman, Rear Admiral, uh, Rear Admiral uh, Daniel Hagari, said reports of a hospital bombing in Gaza are being investigated. There are many false reports from Hamas, he emphasized, among other things. American network NBC News reported comments from a spokesman for the Israeli military who said the hospital struck today in Gaza was not a target. Quote, a hospital is an extremely sensitive building and is not a target for the IDF, he said. The IDF is currently conducting an investigation and, as always, prioritizes accuracy. We urge everyone to proceed with caution when passing on information about a terrorist organization. If the Israeli attack is confirmed, it would be by far the deadliest Israeli airstrike since 2008. They got a video here. Um, I haven't seen the video yet. But this this isn't good, guys. This is this is bad. As reported by Al Jazeera and The Guardian, the spokesman for the Gaza Ministry of Health said that 500 people were killed during the bombing. At the same time, <coughs> excuse me, as Al Jazeera reports, many of the injured are women and children. Oh, wow. Oh, come Lord Jesus. This is sad. The hospital in question housed families amid Israel's ongoing bombardment of Gaza. 
a new crime committed by the occupation in the bombing of El Hali Ariba. I might have said that wrong again. I'm sorry. Hospital in the center of Gaza City, resulting in dozens of murders and wounded in the complex due to the bombing. It should be noted that the hospital accommodated hundreds of patients injured and forcibly displaced from their homes due to the airstrikes, the local authority said in a statement. It is noted that the Israelis had also issued an ultimatum to the hospital staff to leave. Final letter that had been rejected by the hospital management and staff. There is no way to transport the patients. Palestinian civil defense. The attack on the hospital in Gaza is unprecedented. The massacre at the L and the, I'm not going to try and pronounce that because I, I know I'm going to say it wrong. Hospital is unprecedented in our history. Well, we have witnessed tragedies in previous wars and days, but what took place tonight is tantamount to genocide, said Mohammed Basel, spokesman for the Palestinian Authority. The local authorities are talking about a war crime, a new war crime committed by the occupation in the bombing of the hospital in the center of the Gaza City, resulting in dozens of mortars and wounded in the Al-Shifa medical complex due to the bombing. It should be noted that the hospital accommodated hundreds of patients injured and forcibly displaced from their homes due to the airstrikes. The hospital is still burning. According to Hassan Kalf, K-H-A-L-F, I apologize if I said that wrong, medical director of Al-Wafa Hospital, Located just one kilometer away from the Al Ali Arab, the hospital is still burning. The doctor told Al Jazeera that all this time thousands of Palestinians have been injured and there is no safe place. They want to massacre Gaza, added K H A L F, however you pronounce that name. At the same time, Hussein Abu Sait, ah, gosh, these names, I'm not sure how to pronounce the last name, head of the pediatric clinic at the Kamal. Adwan Hospital, located in northern Gaza, just a short time after the hospital was bombarded, said that we are fighting to save... Oh, man. I feel like crying right now. We are fighting to save injured children, pregnant mothers, babies are born here. More than 200 bodies were taken to C SIFA, SIFA Hospital today. Mostly women and children. They need to stop targeting us. Palestinian Authority President uh, Mahoud Abbas has declared three days of mourning following the alleged airstrike on Gaza's El Hali um, Ariba Baptist Hospital. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of videos here. Um, we gotta pray. Pray, family. Pray for all the injured, um, all the victims, and everybody that's going through this. Um, the Antichrist is about to appear. He's going to work out peace when nobody else was able to. And the world is going to marvel over him. Which means the rapture of the church can happen any time. This is bad, guys. This is really bad. I'll leave the link in the description box. If there's any more breaking news, I'll be back on. Um, I have a very busy day today, so um, I'll get back on as soon as I can. Be strong in the be strong in faith, family. This is sad. God bless you and I will talk to you soon.